and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Stefan Overwhelm, our next uh, meme tier deck. We got uh, some more viewer submitted meme tier decks. Uh, this one's going to be all about Scarthane, Stefan. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, sorry for that. Um, this is going to be about Scarthane, Stefan. The 2-4 that whenever it survives damage, you grant it plus 3, plus 0. So you want this thing to survive damage as much as possible, because each time it gets a permanent 3 power buff. And so hopefully we can buff it up a whole lot and then give it Overwhelm. We got 3 Mites to give it Overwhelm, and three Cato the Arms uh, also giving it Overwhelm. So that's what that's our combo for our deck. So to be able to do damage to it, we have cards like Crimson Awakener doing one to our allies, Vladimir doing one to our ad allies, Transfusion in there for some surprise damage, Burst Speed, um, and then of course Ember Maiden. And Ember Maiden is going to be a big part of our deck in general because uh, Ember Maiden does one to everything, including our all of our opponent stuff. And so our opponent having a whole bunch of damaged enemies um, would allow us to get um, an attack with Orok where they don't get to block with any of their things. So like if we can have, if, like during their turn, if we can have Ember Maiden and Glinthorn in play, like we play Glinthorn at the end of their turn, maybe we already had an Ember Maiden in play, we untap, we deal one damage to everything, Everything's damaged, and then uh, then we can go straight to attacks, attack, stun all their enemies, and they don't get to block. So that's another cool little win con for us. Um, but yeah, besides that, we got our regular Freljord Noxus. Uh, good stuff, and that's our deck. Uh, got some pump spells also to help keep Stefan alive, you know, because Stefan only has the four health. So we have Take Heart, Bloodsworn Pledge. Those are permanent buffs, and then the single turn buff with Fury of the North. Plus, cards like Take Heart and Fury of the North can just be a lot of damage whenever we're combining them with Might or Cat of the Arm anyway. All right, so here we go. Uh, Stefan Overwhelm, we're going to go play five games. Uh, over in normal, Ranked is um, paused right now, waiting for the new season to start tomorrow. All right, I'm just going to look in our top end. Both those cards are, are just fine, but as far as starting off in our hand, we want the lower cost stuff. Well, sure hope we can get this Scarfane Stefan to just take a little bit of damage. And then double take heart gonna make that thing big okay well we found a way to have it take a little bit of damage now we need to now we basically just need to find ways to give it overwhelm yeah now we just need overwhelm so this thing's gonna attack for eight next turn Well then. Don't get to transfusion and take heart by playing this first. We have transfusion, elixir of iron. And there's also a chance I'm not attacking. Jinx? Stands for Jinx? Durr. We'll make quick work of you. Nothing but a footnote. So 
So even if they have get excited, we're still good. We're still covered. Because of the elixir. And yeah, I could have just done the Omen Hawk, because the Omen Hawk would die at the beginning of at the round start anyway. All right, Vladimir's already getting leveled up. It's already five out of six for leveling up. <laughs> Stefan's at 11 too. Yeah, we just need, come on, we need that overwhelm. Need that overwhelm. Sure. If I play this Stefan, then they have the ability to maybe kill one of these things. But we'd also have a new big Stefan in play. Y'all think I should just go the safe route and just go pledge? That's the safe route, and yeah, it doesn't doesn't waste as, as much mana, right? Like if, if we just pass, we just we could waste two mana. So let's make sure this make sure that I don't waste mana. But I don't have the I don't have the ability to have two huge Stefans in play. All right, come on, might. Overwhelm, overwhelm. Hmm. Not overwhelm. I don't really feel like I need to attack. Like, what's what's the point of attacking? Like, they just block with the two chompers that just die anyway, right? I'm gonna pass turn. See what they do. I may just want, like, both of these things as, like, protection. They have, basically I'm passing, and I'm not really worried about wasting the mana right now because they just drew three fleeting cards. Um, so. The incentive is on them to play stuff because they have all this fleeting stuff in hand. Don't worry, I've read all about this. We'll take what we need to survive. Excited and to pick a card. Oh my gosh, can we just find an overwhelm card? Oh, <laughs> so much damage. Alright, let's block with. Oh, right, that thing's elusive. Uh oh, that's scary. Forgot about that thing being elusive. I'm always up for a round or two. Eyes open. 
Yeah, exactly, right? Our deck is called Stefan Overwhelm, not Stefan. <laughs> Stefan Overwhelm. Uh... I hate these little trump blockers. Alright, well that's good for me. That means... They they have to just top deck Mystic Shot to kill me. Otherwise, they're dead. I mean, I guess, so I guess it's not like real good for me, because you know, it gives them an out. There's the Overwhelm! Yes! We can do millions of damage. It's it's one way or the other, it's game. No. We had a thirty power overwhelm. <laughs> Come on, we're only at negative one. They're at negative 28. Yeah, we drew that overwhelm one turn too late. But yeah, the, the Jinx having elusive got us. Yeah, who needs Catastrophe when we have Stefan? Yeah, we're basically playing a Catastrophe deck. Exactly, Gamma, basically ca Catastrophe. All right, bye, Heimer. <laughs> yeah, right? Why can't we play Atrocity in here, too? <laughs> that would be great if we could splash Atrocity. Atrocity should be a Freljord card to go along with They Who Enter anyway. <laughs> Alright, I'd like to attack, please. Thank you. Probably better to play Stefan first. Skill and grace to tear your breath. Away. Yeah. Feeling like Vlad Vlad yeah, we needed Vlad last game for that for the drain. The but yeah, Sejuani would also be really good. So the ideal scenario right here would be my opponent passing the turn, thinking that we're going to go to combat and attack with a bunch of stuff, and then I pass back, and we kill that thing and deal two da damage to them and pump this thing up. Yeah, our deck has 17 spells, I haven't seen any of those yet.
Haven't seen any of those yet. Makes sense just to attack and trade. No. Really, Elixir of Iron? Really? Couldn't have you last turn to protect my stuff in? I see how it is. So I think we just go straight to combat. Attack for 10. Attacking for 10 is usually a good thing to do. Especially drawing this transfusion to be further protection. Love it. Now we're doing 12. <laughs> and if I just wanted to see if because if, da if damage happens they go down to two then I transfusion be able to do damage to my own thing I don't want to do the transfusion right now I want I want the damage to happen first all right well that's gonna die and that's gonna die I think we got this game. That's what they're acting like. No. Okay. Well, game's not over yet. get to keep the 2-1. That thing's too tough. That thing is too tough. No, you're supposed to play all those. No, like my my opponent didn't do anything wrong. You're supposed to play all those things and level up the Heimerdinger so you start making two health turrets. They didn't do anything wrong. I just don't, I don't really have a way to, I can't play like Transfusion first and then play Crimson Awakener to do two damage to them and then still have the Ember Maiden do two damage to them, right? Like I can't, because playing Transfusion would have to kill Ember Maiden. So instead, we'll go Glenhorn instead of Awakener. Because if they, if they play Will of Ionia on the Glinthorn, they lose. Okay, good. 
That's them tapping out. GG's. Unless they have thermogenic beam. I guess they could they could have thermogenic beam for one. That's that's how they could stay alive. No! No! Why'd I have to say GG's? play one of these things. I love a man with stock. See, we just would have untapped to the 3-1. We dealt two there, dealt two here, and that that's before they can respond. The only holiday with celebrating. Well, that's probably game, since they tapped out like that. Alright, there's the there's the overwhelm part. We had the Stefan game one, overwhelm game two. GG overwhelm. Awesome. Alright, on the board. <laughs> it's always is there a, a card that's more satisfying to defeat than Heimerdinger that's probably the most satisfying card to defeat isn't it because all they're doing is just playing playing spells and they've got so many free turrets because think about all those turrets that we killed with an ember maiden also before all of those other ones it's just insane like if you combine all the the power and health total that Heimerdinger just produced for zero mana. It's just an insane number. Nautilus feels more satisfying for you. Yeah, for me, it's it's probably Heimerdinger. I think the number was 50, actually. I think they had it. I'll do my best. I think it was exactly 50. If you combine the um, power and health of all of the turrets they made. From my memory, I think it was exactly 50. So I think they got 50 free power and health that cost zero mana in play. And we still won. But that's what Heimerdinger just did that last game. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Alright, we're about to take a whole bunch of damage. Why Lucian? No challenge? Huh. 
Huh. Now, how do I get rid of this Senna? It's the next question. No. Lucius. Lucius. And maybe I should have kept my 3 1 alive. Oh, I guess the Senna's just going to die next turn, right? It just dies this next turn. The problem with using a take heart is if they have a fight spell. Snow swallows their tears. Stay back. I think that's the best thing to do instead of us, because remember the Ember Maiden does deal damage to us also. I think it's probably better to just do that instead of us taking damage. But we needed to draw some kind of unit for these transfusions. I guess it's, that unit is an Omen Hawk. We need to draw something. alive. Oh no! Never mind. Real big deal. Why couldn't I have one more mana? Needed one more mana. Dang. That's what happens sometimes when you have too many spells, but they just got too far ahead with that super fast start. Those first four turns they had uh, pretty awesome. You know, one drop War Chefs, Senna, and then one drop Lucian. Got too far ahead whenever my first four turns were Ember Maiden. <laughs> that was good. Alright, I like this. So no champion at PNZ Shadow Isles could be two different things. It could be real aggressive with um, with the O3 kind of deck, or it could be a Karina control deck. So it's like it's one of the two spectrums. It's either like uh, trying to kill you with I can't think of, what's the O3's name. No, I'm sorry, like the O3 and Neverglade Collector being that kind of deck. Or it's real aggressive. Or it's real controlly. So like it's prankster. Yeah. Yeah. 
Phantom. There we go. Phantom Prankster. Yeah, that's the name of it. Yeah. It's either like Phantom Prankster or Super Control. They're just playing Mushroom Cloud? Okay, or they're just doing whatever. They just have Mushroom Cloud in their deck? Like, Trail of Evidence, I was like, okay, that's not too weird. Mushroom Cloud, that's pretty weird. Hey, Talk Rack. We got Big Stefan and we got Might for Overwhelm. Y'all know our, our goal, Stefan Overwhelm. Need the overwhelm. <laughs> the Stefan hits him. 19 1. Oh no, 17 1. Get him, Stefan. Get him, Stefan. Stefan is furious. I'm sure attempts for removal. Furious. Twenty four two. DG's. It definitely would have been safer if I would have just let I guess I guess if I would have just done the first transfusion and let I guess it would have only been one extra health um with that if I if I wouldn't have done the two transfusion thing, but we wouldn't have had a we wouldn't have had another unit out for the second transfusion. Okay. I like Omen Hawk into Ember Maiden. It's better than just Ember Maiden. We're playing again against another aggressive deck. Uh, could be, you know, some a bunch of elusives with one health, or just other things with one health. And hopefully, Ember Maiden does a does a good job killing some stuff. Trade one drops, and we're at 19. It's a good start for the opponent because if just if every single card trades across the board but we lose one life after 20 cards they will be the winner. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Hmm. Let's start with this. Instead of having Instead of having the Ember Maiden block like that and go down to one health and then the Ember Maiden dying. We'll do it with the Omen Hawk, plus we get the Omen Hawk trigger right away. sure if I want to play Ember Maiden right now. Maybe I don't. I'll try Let me show you what I I'm kind of glad I didn't just play Ember Maiden. Delicious. And maybe setting up like an Ember Maiden Glinthorn kind of turn. Yuck. Glory of 
remember the objectives. Dang. Look what you did. I'll try anyone. Look at you. Go down to two. Best case scenario. And then what I play Ember Maiden. Let's see what you can do. And we go down to one. Just kinda have to kill them. We're very likely dying, but if they have absolutely nothing, we can win. Um. I feel like our hand was bad. We had a better one. That's they showed the the power of Crimson Disciple with Imperial Demolitionist. You know, like that dealt they had Disciple. We don't have removal for it. Two Demolitionist does eight damage. That's forty percent of our health, and uh, you know, like that's that's a lot of damage. The so GGs, you know, like one drop into you know they had the one drop into the house spider into Zed into disciple plus demolitionist to another demolitionist. Yeah, that's just a good hand. Okay, well, we went two and three with our Stefan Overwhelmed deck. Got to live the dream of one-shotting somebody with Stefan with having a 20-power Stefan, so that was awesome. Uh, first game, we almost lived that dream. We had a 30-power Overwhelm, but they had the burn spells to finish us, us off the first game. Um, uh, but uh, there we go. All right, so there's Stefan Overwhelm. Um, as far as like what to change here, on it, uh, honestly, I, like our our deck would be better if, if we did have like some some champions at the top end. Um, I I just don't. We have played a lot of Orok Glinthorn now over the last like week or two, and I I just am not con. I yeah, I'm not convinced of this card. Um, should be played at all over cards like Sejuani, even like the new Darius. Basically, just the all all four of these champions, um, kind of thing. But it you do have the dream of you know the Ember Maiden Glenhorn dream, but it's just never ever worked. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's that's just kind of how it is. Um, this this card is unbelievable. But I also understand wanting to play some more budget decks without having the champions too. So that's that's okay. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, that's it here for Stefan Overwhelm. So those of you all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know if you ever get to leave, uh, live, <laughs> live the Stefan dream um, over there. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.